Hi, it's Ali with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're reviewing the Linea Mini. Now, this is an iconic espresso machine for the home that came out about five or four, four or five years ago now, um, and that is the last time we've done a review. So it's time to do a refresh and talk about what this machine has to offer and why it has become so popular. Obviously, La Marzocco has been really well known for a long time. They kind of got their start in the States by working with Starbucks, and so they supplied their machines for a long time before they switched over. Um, and so they kind of got their brand recognition from that and from the fact that they are just really well built. So they've been doing what they've been doing for a long time. So they produce really premium quality products. Um, as you can see here, we have our customized version. The standard Linea Mini will come in stainless steel and black accents on the knob. Um, we have upgraded that because this is going to go in our Bellevue store, actually. So we did the white. There's also options for red and black. And we did the maple wood. There is also a walnut offering available just to give it a little bit more accent in your home, make it look nice and match your different pieces you have, your cabinets, things like that. What makes this machine so great? Couple things. Um, one thing you'll know right off the bat, obviously it's got a very unique design. It is very long and wide. It's actually 21 inches long, so that might be a little issue. It does sit nice and short though, so it's 15 inches high, gives you some space above your cabinets for cups, things like that, because most standard cabinets are what, 17 inches or so? So it's gonna give you some nice space and room that way. Um, very large strip tray. Lots of space to play. You also have a two liter water reservoir under here that is filled from the front. So you won't have to worry about pulling this machine forward, filling it from the back like a lot of other ones. Really easy access right here. They have also, since our last review came out, they have released the plumbable version in the States. So this machine is plumbable now with that nice rotary pump that'll last you a very long time. commercial grade stainless steel, all stainless steel portafilter here. Um, makes it really easy to clean and they have wonderful baskets. You can even get their precision baskets to go in here which are uh, going to be even in the holes that are printed in the bottom because some of the other brands, they there's a large variation so you won't get as much consistency. So they're taking out as many variables as they can. What else makes this machine special? Well, it's got a three and a half liter steam boiler, so lots of space to steam if you're doing hot chocolate all the time or if you like big lattes. Um, another unique thing is that this machine actually has a 0.17 liter boiler. Why is that? Why is it so small? It's actually a unique design to this machine and to Lumer Zoco. Um, it basically heats up just the right amount of water, so it's gonna be the most temperature stable possible. It's an integrated group, so it's built right above the group head here. So your boiler is literally right behind this little area here. It has your pressure gauge here and your uh, pump gauge here. So this is going to read what hap is happening in the pump being applied to your espresso. What else can we talk about? What it comes with, what comes in the box? So Lumber Zoco has been Kind of, they're really premium. They're gonna have all these nice little features in here. So we have their manual. Gonna go through all the different options for your machine. Comes with five baskets in total. One is already in here, but you basically can choose which one you like. Um, and this gives you a good idea of the quality of their baskets. Um, you also get the single, some different styles, your back flush. You also get your cleaning supplies here, so that's really useful. You'll need that right away. Um, they also send you a water testing kit, so you can test your water. This is stainless steel boilers in this, so it's very important that you have filtered water going to this machine. Scale buildup, uh, hardness buildup, anything like that is definitely going to be an issue. You wanna make sure you have really nice, well-filtered water so you're feeding your investment properly and it's not going to cause any issue. Also, I'm um, going to come with a steaming pitcher, which is nice. It has the Lion branding on it for Le Marzocco. I would show you a little bit closer, but I've already poured my milk in here because we're going to make a drink after this. So basically, out of the box, it's got most everything you need to get started, which is wonderful. I say we make a drink. Let's try it out. 
so you can see how it works. Today I will be making a little cappuccino of sorts with my almond milk because I am dairy intolerant, but I'll get to taste the espresso on the side too so you can kind of see um, what we're doing. And I am brewing some methodical Ethiopia Guji, which is a single origin espresso that can be a little bit more difficult to dial in, but I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of show off what this machine is capable of doing. Right here on the side, we have the PID, and this is a, see, I just clicked it, go back. It is a manual way to change that PID, but it's basically sending a message to the electronics in the back of the machine that it's changing the temperature. And that's basically instant. A lot of other PIDs, you have to wait for the water to cool down or heat up. This one, since it's heating up just the small amount of water, just what you'll need for your shot, it's gonna be almost immediate. So I have turned this temperature up actually, since it's a light roast, single origin espresso. I've got it around 204 degrees. I am doing, weighing out my shot here with my new Kaya Pearl S. Should be 18 grams on the scale. I stopped it a little early. Perfect, made a little mess, that's okay. Perfect. So we actually had 21, 20 grams here, so I'm gonna knock a little bit of this off. Not my favorite way to prepare an espresso, but you do what you gotta do. Don't wanna waste too much coffee here if you don't have to. Perfect. 17.9, 18, pretty close. I will take within a gram. Uh, another thing that it comes with that I forgot to mention is a convex tamper, Lumberzoco branded. So that's kind of unique to them. They say that it gives you more surface area. So try that out. Just clean off the top there. Go ahead and lock it in. And I'm just gonna wing it here. Usually I would weigh it out, but I forgot my lunar scale that fits beneath. So I'm just gonna go for it. We'll see what happens. You can brew and steam on this at the same time because it is a dual boiler machine. Um, I'm not gonna do that just so I have enough space here because I'm using two cups, but we will definitely steam some milk after I pull this shot looking beautiful. The portafilter actually also comes with breakaway spouts. So the little spouts right here at the bottom, you'd wanna put it on the edge of your countertop because if you put them on the countertop directly, they'll break away. So they don't dent your countertop, break or anything like that. Looking delicious. Take a sip of this real quick. Oh yeah, that's great. Okay, so I just turned up the temperature right before I did this shot because I knew that I wanted it a little hotter, but it was coming out really bright. So I turned it up and that tastes really good. Nice and powerful steam. That is one of the best things about this machine. And I am using my almond milk like I mentioned before. and I just burn myself, so don't do that at home. Very quick. Make sure to wipe it off after you're done using it. Purge out your steam arms so there's no milk stuck in there. Nice. Let's see if I got any almond milk latte in me. Maybe not. Something. Looks pretty good. It's more like a latte, that's okay. That is amazing. Very good. Oh man, the since this is a natural coffee, it's kind of fruity and it, it complements the almond milk really well. It's like really refreshing. I also did the milk hotter than I typically do. That's what happens when it's so fast, yeah. Super creamy, delicious. 
So, there you have it. Lumberzoco Linea Mini, a classic in the espresso machine lineup. One of everybody's favorite dream machines. What questions do you have about it? What do you think? Do you like this white and maple setup? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and we will see you next time. If I can put it back in the machine. Nope.